Colorado kindergartners are at the back of the pack when it comes to state vaccination rates. A state lawmaker would like to change that. He'll get his first chance tomorrow with a bill that he hopes will push more parents to immunize their kids and raise Colorado's vaccination rate. Nine News reporter Jennifer Meckles walks us through the bill. Kim, besides being a state lawmaker, a Democratic state representative, Kyle Mullica is a dad of a kindergartner and an ER nurse. And he said this bill was inspired by some data from the CDC. And that data says about 88% of Colorado kindergartners are vaccinated for things like measles, mumps, and rubella. But that's below the national median of 94.3% and the lowest of the 49 states on that CDC list. The whole goal of this bill is to try to make sure that we get to a herd immunity rate to make sure that we're safe and that we're not at risk for an outbreak to, so that kids can go to school and be safe. That's that's really the ultimate goal of this bill. Right now, families can exempt their student from immunizations for three reasons, medical, religious, or personal. Mullica says his bill won't change those exemptions, but says it will formalize a process for families who claim one. Number one, requiring all documentation on forms created by the State Department of Health. And number two, for religious and personal exemptions, the first year paperwork must be submitted in person to the state or your county health agency. His bill also calls for the Department of Health to develop and distribute education materials about the benefits of vaccinations to medical facilities and include Colorado vaccination rates and comparisons in the department's annual update to the legislature. Representative Mullica knows he's wading into a passionate debate on an often controversial topic and he's ready for it. And we've worked really hard on this bill to make sure that it's fair. Uh, you know, we started off on the process of, of looking at the option of eliminating the exemptions and um, you know, and, and we got a lot of feedback that people wanted choice, that they wanted choice between their doctor and them, um, and they wanted the choice of, to be able to have these exemptions, and, um, and this bill keeps that choice. I reached out to a lot of school districts today who tell me there are already a number of state regulations that they follow from the State Department of Health. A lot of them are using the state forms for exemption and the reporting data back to the state. All of this already. Some parents have emailed us this week ahead of this bill concerned about a tracking system. The state tells me they already have that in place now and the bill sponsor said that people can still opt out of sharing very personal information. They're looking more to collect aggregate data about vaccination rates in the state. So tomorrow is this hearing and that will be the time when people can really share their opinions on this. The lawmaker knows he's expecting to hear a Push lot. Back. Sure. Yep, definitely criticism on this bill. Things we couldn't even get to into this story, but that is tomorrow's debate. You just wanted to lay out the bill for us tonight and also yeah. talk a little bit about that sharing of the information, which people always get nervous about. Right. The goal was to just kind of spell out what the proposal is and kind of what's going on in schools already. All right. Thank you, Jennifer. Yes.